Michigan lawmakers like Rashida Tlaib were there. Tlaib, along with other women on both sides of the House, made a very powerful political statement by wearing all white to celebrate the centenary of women's right to vote here in the United States. President Trump also acknowledged women's progress. No one has benefited more from a thriving economy than women who have filled 58 percent of the newly created jobs last year. And there you have it. Many of the Democratic lawmakers were cheering, uh, took office after the recent midterm elections, which saw a record number of women elected. And the Democrats win a majority in the House of Representatives. In the meantime, during the State of the Union address last night, President Trump also shared what's on his to-do list, starting with the border wall. The president continues to demand for funding for his wall, calling illegal immigration a threat to national security. Next, he talked health care, saying he wants to take on everything from protecting patients with pre-existing conditions to a ban on late-term abortions. He then moved to infrastructure, discussing that it's so bad it needed to be fixed yesterday. Finally, he touted his upcoming meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. That is scheduled to happen in Vietnam on February 27th and 28th.